Oh my gosh. This is alarming. I have red hairs on me. Oh my gosh. This is from my, my wig that I have because I was cleaning today. I went on like a cleaning rampage earlier and I cleaned a lot of stuff and I have this like red, like red wig, kind of like a Jessica Rabbit, like Daphne wig and it just, it just gets everywhere. And I'm just like, <sighs> okay. Anyways, we're talking about Exxon cards today. In this video, we're talking about green cards. I've done the other um, four colors they're my set overview playlist if you want to check those out or they'll probably show up on the side of the screen where it says like recommended videos to watch. Um, and basically, uh, yeah, we're just going to talk about Exxon cards. Um, I have to say as a whole, as I'm kind of looking at all the colors, I'm not crazy about this set. Um, I think like you guys will tell like when I talk about cards, what? Oh, that's a fly that scared me. Um, when I talk about cards, you can totally tell, like, what cards. I'm like, this card's pretty sweet. Or you know if I'm, like, into the, this card. You can tell. I'm like, yeah, dude, this card is lit. Um, there's a difference between being like, yeah, like, this card's definitely good. It's definitely a bomb, whatever. But then, like, guys, like, this card. And I haven't felt like that about, um, about that. I always think it's interesting to hear what people have to say about the sets. Um, I am going to the pre-release just because I haven't been to a pre-release in a while. And I always just have fun, even if... I'm not like crazy about this set or anything like that. I also do not like the Enrage mechanic at all. I think it's terrible. Um, I've noticed too, just because that is literally the same exact mechanic um, as in Hearthstone, I've noticed it works better in, in that. I don't think, I just don't think it's very good. I'm not a huge fan. Um, yeah, I'm just, those are just some thoughts. I'm just not really a huge fan. I'd like to know what you guys think about this set. Um, it's just, it's just not doing it for me. You know what I mean? But um, I'm also going to be doing the video talking about multicolored cards, which will be posted a later today. So definitely make sure you check that out. My other videos, if you want to hear about my thoughts on Ixalan cards. So let's get into it. Let's start talking about the first card, which is Carnage Tyrant. Uh, card simply just sweet. I mean, it's a huge dude. Uh, the fact that it's like four, sorry, I'm sorry, six mana for a seven, six, like already right there, you had me. Then it's got Trample and Hexproof, and it can't be countered. Like, all these things just make this guy super sweet. Great bomb. Um, definitely something that you want to look out for. Hands down, this card's just great. I don't think I've saved these cards to my computer yet, so I can't show them. I'm all over the place today. I, I swear, I was going crazy at work today. My coworker was like, Tracy, calm down. I was like, I am not fine. I'm just trying to do, like, a million things. Okay, um, then we have Verdant Sun's Avatar. When this or another creature enters the battlefield, you gain life equal to its toughness. Card is amazing. Um, I found with a lot of the other colors, I don't feel like there's as many high mana cost stuff. Um, green always tends to seem to have um, quite a bit of stuff that are high mana cost. This and the card that I talked about earlier are really great bombs. Um, card is just super sweet. I love this card. Definitely something that you want to look out for. Yeah, I like it. Um, okay, this is a card I'm super excited about. Uh, we have Waker of the Wilds. First off, the art is divine. Like, let's just talk about that for a hot second. Uh, it's a 4 mana 3-3. Three, three. X and double green, you put X plus one plus one counters on target land. That land becomes a creature with haste. Still land, it just chills. Card is amazing. I really love cards like this. I think it's very unique and very interesting. This card also synergizes really well with that blue card that's like uh, creatures you control with plus one plus one counters on it can't be blocked. Um, super dumb combo. I think this card is incredible. I think it's one of the best like mid-range cards. I love cards like this that are like cheap where you can still play it in like the early stages of the game and it's good but it's great in the late game. Like you draw this card when you're in turn like 15, nothing's really going on and you just kind of need like something to do. You don't have to tap this creature to do it. Um, easily one of the best cards in green, no question. Card's amazing. I love it. You can just make like as many freaking dudes as you want. Like, ah, oh, I love that. Um, okay, cool. Then we have um, Deep Root Champion. Um, this card is really sweet. I like this card a lot in the green, blue, merfolk archetype. I think that deck is just going to be really sweet. That's the deck like I'm pining for. Like, I hope I get the chance to play that deck. Um, 
I really like this and I think there's a lot of really good non-creature spells, especially in blue. You definitely want to make sure you're pairing this with a decent amount of non-creature um, cards. Um, and then it just becomes a two mana guy that becomes really large. Card is really good. I like it a lot. Alright, another big body. Oh man, I love this card. Uh, then we have Thundering Spineback. Oh man, dude. Okay, let me tell you something. A lot of times what makes me very annoyed is when you're playing with a lot of these cards, they expect you to have synergy. And what that kind of means is like, it says other dinosaurs you can show up at plus one plus one. So you're expecting when you're playing a card like this that you're going to have a couple more dinosaurs. But what if you're drafting and you don't see many good dinosaurs or whatever, or in your sealed pool you don't see any, but you want to run a card like this. What I love about a card like this is in the late game, it's incredible because you get the buff and you pay six mana to create a 3-3 three, three dude. Oh my god, this fly is driving me crazy. Um, you create a 3-3 three, three dude with trample, which is awesome. It synergizes with itself. I can't stress like cards like this enough that are really good that, you know, you may not have like three other dinosaurs on the side of your field, but the fact that you can make dinosaurs with this card is really incredible. Um, overall, really good. Seven mana, five, five, really nice body. Um, this, this card is sweet. I love it. Easily one of the best on commons in green. Slice in twain. Okay, um, like I said, I think there are really good enchantments in this. I actually haven't looked at the artifacts yet, so I really can't even say. I do this really bad thing where like I look at each color, but I don't really look at all the other cards. I haven't really haven't looked at this set like at all, except for the purpose of doing these videos. I can't speak for the I looked at them once upon a time, but I don't remember. Um, I'm a great magic YouTuber, can't you tell? Um, at least I'm not like trying to hide it. I'm being straight up honest. I've just haven't I did not also know I was going to be filming these videos until like the day of so that's the thing um but anyways it's a four mana instant destroy target artifact or enchantment you draw a card now like I said I think there's some really fantastic enchantments in the set a lot of times I can push cards like this kind of meh um away but I really like this card I like that it's instant speed I like the flexibility of artifact or enchantment and I love the fact that it draws a card overall card's really good definitely something you want to look out for in the sidebar side sidebar sideboard definitely wouldn't main board this card I don't think there's a reason really to main board it unless you know like yeah you just wouldn't do that you just totally put this in the sideboard and then bring it in for matchups where you know your opponent has really threatening artifacts or enchantments and he kind of gets a draw card after it card's really good all right then we have savage stomp and I really just appreciate that this card is has the word savage in it which makes me really happy and it reminds me of savage punch so that card is really sweet kind of similar to savage punch because isn't savage punch fight fighting too i think um so it costs two less if it targets a dinosaur you control now given that's really a sweet ability for one mana you know but honestly if you if you don't have a dinosaur paying three mana for this card i think is very good you put a boss muscle encounter on target creature you control then that creature fights target creature you don't control um really great. I'm very happy to still see the fighting mechanic going on. I think it's definitely one of Green's answers. Um, yeah, I really like this card. I think it's a really solid uncommon. And like I said, even if you don't have a dinosaur, three mana for this card is perfectly fair. I would have been happy if it was even like one less. You know, I think this card's great. Um, then we have Drover of the Mighty. Um, I think this card is sweet. I think if you were running like Dinosaur Tribal, I think you just need this card because it's basically a two mana three three where you get to add any color to your pool. Absolutely an incredible body. Definitely something that's really important. Also something too, you know, even if you aren't running that many dinosaurs or you don't think this is really good because you just want that little bit of mana. Um, I think it's also really important the set is really pushing like two two colors and you know you have a lot of things that are high mana cost so I think for the sole fact of adding any mana of your color to your pool overall I think this card's busted it's a really solid uncommon cool and then we have blinding fog and I know some people really don't like cards like this and you know something I I can definitely agree that I'm not like in love and I definitely wouldn't go overboard by running like five of these cards but if you have an open slot or you're playing against a matchup where like you you're you're gonna be overrun by your opponent they're gonna swing in with a bunch of their things and there's really nothing you can do about it 
Um, you burn all damage that will be dealt to creatures this turn. And the creatures gain hexproof. I like this card. I definitely do. Um, I think it's interesting. It doesn't say to you, so just keep that in mind. So someone like swings all out, it's not like you're running that damage. I think this card's really good. Um, and the last card I want to talk about, which I think is just like one of the best commons in green, is um, Spike Tailed Ceratops card is just incredible. I love cards like this. I love just like those like five, six mana like big green dudes. I'm just a huge fan of that. Um, it's a five mana four four, can block an additional creature each combat. Card is just really, really fantastic. Very nice body. Um, yes, love this card. So yeah guys, that is it. That is it for Ixalan. Um, definitely know what let me know what cards you were looking forward to, not just in green, but just like in general. I'm excited to do multicolored and stuff because I I always feel like it gets most fun when I'm in like multicolored because it forces a lot of people to like go into specific deck paths, which I really like, or like splash a third color, which I just think is really awesome. And I don't know, I just tend to have more fun with like multicolored cards. So hey guys, that's it. I'll see you guys in my last video for Ixalan. Good luck on the pre-release if you're going and I'll talk to you later.